Tom. Hey guys, I'm Zeta Sage Plays. Welcome back to the Moonlight World, where today we're going to be here building a heavily themed habitat for the North American beaver. So we're going to get straight into it today. I've already done the terrain and the water. We're going to get straight into the theming. So this is based on a habitat in a zoo called the Wildlands Adventure Zoo in the Netherlands. Uh, which I've never heard of until I started doing some research for this episode. They've got a really cool beaver habitat, which is themed around a sawmill, which I thought was really cute, uh, considering what uh, beavers are known for. So the first thing that we're going to do is work on this piece of uh, equipment or machinery. I guess it's equipment. I don't think it's got any sort of moving um, parts in it, which I presume is for holding logs while you saw them. Uh, I've never worked as a lumberjack, you're probably not surprised to know, so I'm not 100% sure what this does. Uh, it just looks really cool and it was in the habitat, so that's what we're going to build. It was quite tough to build this. Um, lots of different pieces tried to get the exact effect I wanted. At the bottom, it's well, pretty much the whole thing's made out of metal. Um, and so I tried loads of different pieces to get the right one. I ended up using these girder pieces because they're recolorable. I want this big bright yellow uh, caution sign um, so I needed to find something that was flat and metallic so it looks right and this was the piece I ended up using there's a whole lot cut out of this video of me testing different pieces um, to get it right um, but I'm really happy with how it looks at the end and we've got some more girders to form the sort of rusted piece of metal that the sign sits on as well and we're going to use these different types of girders to build the actual sort of structural support for this contraption. So we'll copy those over there and then use even more girder pieces to make the top of it. Um, I've never used so many girders in one build before. Um, make a few tweaks to it. And like I say, when we're done with this, I'm really happy with it. We're going to put some signs on it. Um, this took a bit of doing to get it to look exactly the way I wanted it, but I ended up using three signs to get the shape that I wanted for the Moonlight Sawmill, as it's going to be called, as it's in this zoo. And do some recolouring and just try and get that rusty old kind of look that uh, I'm going for. I don't know if what they've got in the zoo is something they've built themselves or it's an old bit of scrap that they've you know, recovered from a sawmill. I'm presuming it's that. Um, and then we're going to do some more work on the sign, sink some of these little signs in here to get the full um, big sign that I want. And then we're going to use loads of decals to give this the proper weathered, rusty old bit of metal look um, that I'm going for. Honestly, I don't know what we did before decals in this game. <laughs> it's, uh, it's such a game changer, these things, especially for making stuff like this. So we're gonna have some colored the same color as the sign to serve as sort of um, wear. And then I'll have this one a dark brown, like a big patch of rust. Um, and I'll go absolutely crazy with those decals later and put loads of them on there. Um, but we won't show all of that. But yeah, it looks really old and weathered when we're finished with it, which is exactly um, what I'm going for. We'll put some smaller pieces in as well for the structural supports at the side. And then I'm going to use the, I think this is a wheelbarrow handle <laughs> from the conservation pack to hang a giant log from it. And some of my new favorite piece, the uh, Twilight Pack chains. Um, I'm just trying to replicate exactly what I saw in the photos and videos that I looked at of this habitat. Uh, get something that looks really like it is from an old sawmill. So I spent um, a lot of time on this little part of the build. So I really wanted it to be perfect spinning all the chains around and recoloring everything and just trying to get it exactly um, or as close as I could anyway to the reference material that I was using. Another thing I saw in the reference material which I really liked is a lodge for the beavers. I don't know if it was a brilliantly done piece of theming or if the beavers actually built it themselves but an actual um, lodge that beavers build out of sticks uh, where they live in the middle of the water so that other animals can't get to them. Um, that was not easy to build, <laughs> um, but I got there in the end and we will take a look at that a bit later in the video. But I'm really happy with how that turned out. That might be my favorite part of the build. 
Um, but yeah, we're just finishing off that um, piece of machinery now. And now we're going to build a little shelter for them. So there's going to be a proper um, sort of shed, which would be their main indoor part of their habitat, and presumably where they can go off show. But there was also a little sort of fake rock cave uh, at the other end of the habitat uh, that I was looking at. So I decided I wanted to make that as well. I'm using the temple bricks here, um, the recolorable ones. I hardly ever use these. I prefer the rocks in my habitat to look a bit more natural. I normally use the real rocks and then a few of the faux rocks mixed in. But I decided to go with the more man-made look um, that they had in the actual habitat. So I've decided to use the temple pieces for that. And we'll just make a little sort of shelter for them here that they could go into if they wanted to get out of the sight line of the guests but nothing too big because they'll have a proper shelter at the other end of the habitat so as usual making a couple of bits of rocks that I like the look at and then we're just going to copy those around to actually form the little shelter itself and everything in this habitat is going to be covered in logs and branches and bits of wood um, to match the original and just because it's a really interesting look and gives the beavers material that they can work with. Uh, this is the first habitat I've ever built for beavers. Um, really enjoyed the beaver enrichment item, which I've used loads of times as sort of scenery in the background of builds and things like that. But I've never built a beaver habitat, so I've never actually seen them use it. Um, so that was a lot of fun. And I really enjoyed building this one. Definitely a good animal to build for the beavers. Um, I think at one point I did want to put them into Tepton Zoo. Uh, in a sort of British wildlife area seeing as we're rewilding them here in the UK at the moment um, but I just ran out of space for that concept so the beavers and I think it was badgers never made it into the zoo so it was really good to have a chance to use them here obviously with beavers being primarily nocturnal uh, I'm also going to use the gravel path for the inside of this habitat this is one of my favorite little tricks to do just to give you a different material to work with in your habitat. Um, takes a bit of mucking about with to get it to work and to get the path in the, the place where you want it to go. And obviously you've got to do a lot of work to cover up the edges so it doesn't look like you've just plonked a path in the middle of the habitat. Um, but once you cover everything up, I really like the final result. Um, this also looks good um, sort of around water. Um, obviously you can't put paths in water but you can use the special effect pieces to make it look like water is flowing over this gravel. Um, we're going to hide the edge here with a decal and then just change the colours to try and get it to match the pebbles so we get a nice seamless um, sort of join between the paths. Looks really good from back here. And then we'll put the beaver enrichment item in. So it always destroys the train when you uh, put it in there so we need to build that back up again. And then it's just a case of mucking around with this for absolutely ages. So I wanted it to join the water. And later on we'll use the water special effects pieces to make the join more seamless. Um, but if it's actually in water, um, according to my attempts anyway, the beavers won't use it. So you've got to be really careful about the water placement. And eventually, and I'll spare you watching the <laughs> ages and ages of me trying to get it to work but eventually i managed to get it in the place that i wanted it and get the beavers using it as well you'll see that in the end cinematics but that is um that is really cool when they do that uh, this is a bit of it here i noticed uh, i sort of got it working and then <laughs> you can see the beavers are walking in midair but when i lowered the terrain <laughs> you can see the beaver sort of lowering down until he's at ground level uh and yeah now it works nicely i wanted to put some pines behind the habitat to give it more of a North American feel. This is uh, another habitat in a North American area. Um, so I did a bit of research on what sort of evergreen trees grow in Singapore or you can grow in Singapore. And um, there's a type of tree called a cook pine, which is apparently popular there. It's not native, but it is a Pacific evergreen tree. Um, so these pines here are the closest looking in the game to that. So I've just planted a load of those behind here so you get a nice background to the habitat. And then we'll build their main sort of shelter, which is a really sort of rundown kind of aluminium, corrugated iron um, and planks kind of shed. Nice, simple little build this, but I think it's pretty effective when it's done. 
and um, the beavers have got tiny little hitboxes which is brilliant so you can make a little door for them here using smaller planks and they will actually get through that once I sort out the terrain behind it and we'll put a light on uh, make that really dim just uh, just for a little bit of interest and then start covering it up with this corrugated sheeting uh, and again when it's finished just a nice little simple weathered old build that sits nicely in the background now let's get on to the lodge so like i say it took a while to work out how i was going to do this but i'm really pleased with the final result so we're going to use the the rotation trick basically a load of these uh, branches from the nature tab um, just put them in as randomly as possible so it looks like the beavers made it themselves and once you've got a nice little arrangement we're just going to spin this around on itself and then fill in the top and we have a beaver lodge um, i'm going to put this on the workshop uh, if you want to use it in your habitats um, and you don't want to make it yourself um, obviously it doesn't function in the game uh, i think you could get it to work um, with building it in this style but you need to make it a lot bigger so that the beavers could get in from underwater and then climb up into you know a platform inside of it um, but yeah this one isn't functional I just think it looks really cool and <laughs> that's um, that's very important in my zoos <laughs> so yeah I'm just gonna make a few copies of it I didn't quite make it big enough even for this habitat because I didn't want to make the water any shallower and um, yeah I think this looks pretty effective and now we're going to join the enrichment item and the waterfall onto the river so it looks like the um, water is flowing from the waterfall through the enrichment item over the rocks and then down into the main body of water which is uh, how i want it to look and then finally we're going to do a few details here and there i want a little pipe with some sort of water staining on the side of this wall just because i saw that in the reference material and it's a really nice little detail so we do that with a decal and then we're going to put loads of logs and branches all over the habitat to give it that uh, beavery feel. <laughs> Not sure beavery is a word. And then the last thing we're going to do is build a custom fence for the side of the habitat. Um, you saw me earlier put the normal fences around it. I really wasn't happy with them. Um, I kept them at the back. But at the front, what I'm going to do is make the in-game railings look a lot more substantial. And put some wood at the top of it that is sticking out into the habitat so that even if the beavers manage to climb up onto the bottom of the path which is raised uh, they still wouldn't be able to uh, climb up and over and get out of the habitat and that is the beaver sawmill done pretty much we just need to light it up because obviously this is a moonlight zoo so we're going to put some lanterns and then some of the big floodlights that we made for the raccoons episode that we've been using all over the zoo put that everywhere and we are done I really hope you like the habitat. I think this might be my favourite in the zoo, with the possible exception of the aviary. <laughs> I'm going to be back next week, um, but possibly not with the Moonlight World. I have a idea for a new Planet Wild that um, I am very excited about. So that will probably be our video for next Saturday. I really hope you enjoy that. Uh, but either way, I will be back with the Moonlight World after that, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. <laughs>